Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I am specifically excited for today's video because I don't know about you, but my dog is literally my best friend. And I know so many of us beg to know the answer of this. Will my dog be in heaven when I close my eyes for the last time? When I take that last breath, will my dog be on the other side? And it makes sense why so many of us want the answer to this question because dogs have impacted our lives so immensely. When it comes to loneliness, anxiety, depression, they are truly man's best friend. With that being said, let's dive in and find out what the truth is if our dogs will be in heaven when we close our eyes. Let's do it. Okay, let's start at the beginning. In the beginning, we see the creation of the earth and all living things. God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind. So God created all of the animals and guess what he said about them? He said they were good. Later on in Genesis, when Noah is called to build the ark, God tells him to bring two of every kind of animal onto the ark. This right here shows God's concern for all of the animals. And it's also written in the same passage that God has given animals the breath of of life. And they went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all flesh, in which there was the breath of life. But if we jump over to 1 Corinthians, we see that all flesh is not the same. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. So we know God loves all of the animals, and we know that all of the animals have been given the breath of life but not all flesh is the same, as well as the biggest difference between us and every creature on the planet below the sea and above the sea is that humans were made in the image and likeness of God. And we have dominion over all of the animals on the earth. Genesis 126 tells us, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth. Okay, even though God looks at humans in a different way than he does animals, I was really happy to hear Luke 3, 6 in comparison of 1 Corinthians. Again, 1 Corinthians says that all flesh is not the same flesh. And Luke 3, 6 says, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. And when we look even deeper and we look at the original Greek of Luke 3, 6 and 1 Corinthians 15, 39, we see the same Greek word is used in both verses for flesh. Another super popular verse that a lot of people have used to further the claim that animals animals will be in heaven with us is in Isaiah regarding the end of times. We see that wolves will dwell with lambs, leopards will lie down with goats, calves and young lions and the yearling together, and also a little child shall lead them. What an insane picture to even think about a child leading a lion. Could you imagine that? Not only does this tell us that animals will be in heaven, but it also tells us that we will live in perfect harmony with all animals. And we also see that we will not be in fear of them hunting us or each other because the cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. So animals will no longer be hunters of meat, they will eat plants. And also we can only imagine that there will be more species of animals because as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. And lastly, before even doing my research for this video, I've always just kind of leaned on the fact that God cares about the desire of our hearts and I can only imagine that he knows and sees our love for our pets and how much we would love them to be there. So yes, the Bible does point to animals being in heaven with us when we take our last breath, but the only way to know for sure is that you know that your destination is going to be heaven as well. And how we know for sure is by accepting the free gift that has been given to all of those that want it, which is eternal life. Eternal life has been given to all of those that choose to put their faith in Jesus. And if you don't know what that looks like, I would argue that we could all learn a lot from our dogs. Do you notice how a dog knows who their owner is? The one who cares for them, who loves them the most? A dog is always near 
his master because he knows he is safe with him. Similarly, we know who created us and who loves us, and that's God. Do you notice how a dog walks by their scent, not by sight? Walking with God is quite similar to that in the sense that we walk by faith, not by sight, which means that we don't lean on our own understanding or experiences to guide our lives. Instead, we trust in what is written in here, the promises and guidance of God for our lives. Do you notice how dogs are grateful just to be alive? They do not worry about tomorrow or think about yesterday. They live in this very moment, what is happening right now. And they are happy to just be with you. Every time you come home, even if you've left for one hour, it's like the first time they saw you. Lastly, dogs can be trained. I'm not calling you a dog by any means, just bear with me. But similarly, as we walk by faith with God and the word he left us, our thoughts align with his thoughts. Our perspective on life, how we treat others, how we love others, how we forgive others, these things can be learned. And they don't come from a self-help book. They come from this book. And by reading it and applying it to your life, it will change you from the inside out. God bless you guys and I will see you in the comments. Hello, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos that will help you grow in your faith with Jesus, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you are notified the second we post a new video. And as always, I will see you guys in the comments. Bye guys.